By the covenant of the blood of Jesus. By the covenant of the blood of Jesus. Yes. Yes. Kila maagano ya mashetani. Yalio wekwa kinyume na maisha yangu. Yalio wekwa kinyume na maisha. Ninapo sema fire mara saba. Ninapo sema fire mara. Hayo maagano ya tekete. Hayo maagano ya tekete. Kwa damu ya Yesu Kristo. Kwa damu ya Yesu. Sema maagano maagano. Maagano maagano. Yalio wekwa kinyume na maisha yangu. Yalio wekwa kinyume na maisha. Kwa uwezo wa damu ya Yesu. Kwa uwezo wa damu. Ninapo sema fire. Ninapo sema fire. Yakapate kuteketea. Yakapate kuteketea. Sema fire. Fire. Mara ya pili. Fire. Every evil covenant Fire. against your destiny, Fire. against our marriages, Fire. against our stars, evil covenant, Fire. wherever you are, Fire. may the blood of Jesus Fire. confuse you now, Fire. may the blood of Jesus Fire. consume you now, Fire. may the blood of Jesus Fire. destroy you now, Fire. Maraya Sita, Fire. Maraya Saba, Fire. in the name of Jesus. Pigia yeso makofi mazuri kabisa. Amen. Alafu geukia mtu mwambie karibu katika jina la Yesu. Karibu katika jina la Yesu. Hakikisha amekusalimia na amekupatia smile. Ukiona akupatia smile tukiwa hatujaanza ama ye tafuta yule anakupatia smile jina la Yesu. Salimia mtu mwambie karibu katika jina la Yesu. Karibu katika jina la Yesu. Alafu smile tu. Unajua tuko Easter. E, tuko siku kuu. Eh hey, mtu asikuwe na makasiriko hapa. Alafu kama inawezekana kalia ile kiti iko mbele yako. Alafu unapokaa kiti ambayo iko mbele yako, let's appreciate our priest Apostle Mesha Kilu. Hallelujah. Let's appreciate our mom Pastor Susan. Hallelujah. Let's appreciate our viewers all over the world. Hallelujah. In Jesus name, please have your seat. Naweza ukaketi na Mungu akubariki sana. Are you happy today? Yes. Kuna kwa imbo tulikuwa tunaimba tukiwa uh, Sunday school. I'm happy today. I'm happy. In Jesus name I'm happy. Huh? Wana ni mpeba ni mwambida ni siyo. Hebu tuwaza tena. I'm happy today. So. Jesus. I'm happy. He has taken my sins away. I'm happy, so happy today. Hebu imba sasa ukiwa na maanisha. I'm happy today, so happy. In Jesus name, I'm happy. He has taken my sins away. I'm happy so happy today. Sasa hapo umeweka sin, weka sickness. I'm happy today so happy. In Jesus name I'm happy. He has taken my sickness away. I'm happy so happy today. Leo hautatoka hapa na magonjo. Amen. Hautatoka hapa na madeni. Aha. Uh-huh. Hautatoka hapa na lahana. Amen. Hautatoka hapa na mikosi. Amen. Wale wanasema amina ndio nimetumwa kwao peke yao. Amen. Sema my father, my father. My father. Every demonic burden. Any demonic burden. Over my life. Over my life. You are losing me by fire. You are losing me by fire. Hey, mafundi wa mitango tutengenezee pande ile. I want to talk briefly about functions of an altar. Mm-hmm. Functions of an altar. 
I'm just being general, yani bringing a general knowledge about functionality of altars. So eh naongea kwa madhabahu kwa jumla iwe ni nzuri ama ni mbaya functionalities of altars vile madhabahu huwa zinafanya kazi amen amen na kama utaendelea kuja hii kanisani na unanga notebook ujue utaandikiwa transfer anytime utapewa expel ama suspension maana vitu vingine wewe beba na akili hivi unafikiria lazima uandike mahali ndio ukienda nyumbani unakuwa na quiet time mm-hmm. kuna kitu inaitangwa quiet time uh-huh. unajiita kama mkutano na notebook yako alafu unaanza kusoma mnaongeleshana amen. amen kwa hivyo Mungu akusaidie sana functionalities of otters an otter is the sender of interactions between the physical realm and physical realm amen an altar this is a place of interactions is the center of interactions between the physical realm and the spiritual realm mhm maniko nasema mungu ni roho na wale wanataka kumwabudu mungu ni lazima wamtafute katika roho na katika kweli amen kile kitafanya Mungu atoke kuwa spirit and manifest kwa mambo yale tunataka unataka uponyaji mwili ndio gonjwa unataka gari gari sio roho gari ni chuma amen amen lakini kile kitafanya ukuwe na roho ya kuendea chuma ni madhabao yenye itazalisha hiyo iingie ndani yako. Zile vitu uko nazo saa hii zimepitia kwa ile madhabao yako. Aha. Ziwe nzuri ama mbaya. Anything that you have now it has accessed you by the channel of an altar. Kitu yote uko nayo saa hii. Ini kiliuding via tumevalia nguo umevalia zilipitia kwa madhabao yako kwanza ndio ukazipata mm-hmm. so an altar is a sender of interaction between the spirit and the physical world vitu vyote Mungu ambao anatupatia ni spirit kipawa hicho kwa nacho ni roho lakini kilikuwa lazima kikuwe activated uh-huh. kupitia kwa madhabao amen hata Yesu mwenyewe ambaye ametupatia vipawa yake ndiyo ianze kufanya kazi it had to be activated uh-huh. ilikuwa ni lazima iamushwe na awekelewe mikono na Joana na abatizwe amen kwa hivyo there must be an interaction on the altar ndio mtu apate zile vitu anataka amen number two, an altar is a system of authorization uh-huh. in both physical and spiritual realm is a system of authorization yani ni kama laini ya simu madhabao laini ya simu unaweza ukaitumia kwa njia nyingi hiyo laini ya simu unaweza ukaitumia ukapigia mtu simu uh-huh. amen? amen lakini kama haina credit utasikia nakwambia samahani mm. hauna baki ya kutosha aha uh-huh. so sometimes when we come to the altar wakati mwingine tunakuja kwa madhabao kama haya kuna wakati tunakuja tunajaribu ku make communication between the physical realm and the spiritual realm lakini kuna kuwa na insufficient credit aha uh-huh. because ile credit iko kwa madhabao yangu ndio itania authorize ku flow in the spiritual realm and now ni kalant to the physical realm uh-huh. so an order is a place of authorization is a Uh, is a system of authorization. Hiyo line ya simu pia unaweza ukaitumia kutumia mtu SMS. Mm-hmm. Amen. Amen. The same same line unaweza ukaitumia kutumia mtu pesa. Uh-huh. Na pia ku connect na benki. Uh-huh. Unaweza ukaitumia ku, kufanya mambo mengi tu. Kwa madhabao iko hivyo. Itategemea how have you invested on the altar for you to be allowed to communicate. 
Someone say, my father, my God. My father, my God. Help me to understand about otters. Help me to understand about otters. Number three, what is an otter? An otter is a place of covenanting, activating the covenant, and maintaining the covenant. Madabao ni mahali pa kuingia katika maagano ni mahali ambapo mtu alikuwa ameweka maagano na akakosa kuendelea kuactivate madhabahu agano ikabaki dormant huyo mtu amepewa nafasi inaitwa ya kuactivate uh-huh. na ni kwa madhabahu na pia ndiyo mahali kwa ku maintain covenant amen 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 kuna scripture moja nilikuwa nasoma asubuhi iko Philippians chapter 4 verse 17 na inajua kila mtu anajua Philippians chapter 4 verse 13 inasemaje I can do all things all does what lakini toteremke teremke hapo ndio utajua hiyo scripture si ya kila mtu amen amen so ukianza verse 17 utapata story pale Paulo alikuwa na encourage kanisa ya Filipi na kuna mahali alifika katika hiyo congratulations akawaambia why am i congratulating you kwa nini nawapatia kongole kwa sababu kuna interactions nimeanza kuona mnaelewa za madhabahu kuna system ya authorization mmeelewa vile huo ina flow maana walikuwa napenda mtumishi wa Mungu Paulo maana alikuwa anatembea na neema isiyo ya kawaida na wakajua ya kwamba it's not about Paulo kutembea na neema kuna kitu anajua na lazima na sisi to, to covenant na huyu mtumishi wa Mungu ndio hizi vitu tunaona kwake zianze kutendeka kwetu. Uh-huh. Sasa ndio akawa anaandika hiyo barua akimalizia. Anza verse 16 ama 17 hapo tukiteremka. Sio kwamba napenda tu kupokea zawadi. Sio kwamba mimi napenda tu kupokea zawadi zenu. Ninachotaka ni faida iongezewe katika azina yenu. Lakini kile ninataka ni faida iendelee kuongezeka katika hazina zenu sio hazina yangu. Uh-huh. It's not yet a kwamba tunataka watu watoe atika nisane kuwe na vitu. No. We are teaching people how to invest for their own benefit. Uh-huh. Paulo akawa anafundisha hii kanisa. Maana walikuwa wamempatia vitu alizokuwa anataka mpaka hata zikakosa mahali pa kuweka. Alifika mahali akawaambia I have never seen a generous church like you Philippines. Uh-huh. Yaani mmekuwa watu very generous. Nikisema tujenge kanisa, mnaleta ngombe, mnaleta mawe. Yaani hakuna kitu yangu ilikwama kwa sababu ya kanisa ya Wafilipi. Si hiyo ndio itakuwa maombi ya King's Love hapa. Uh-huh. Utumishi wa Mungu akisimama anasema, I am very happy. Amen. Maana wakati wa kuinua madhabao, mnainua bila kushawishiwa. Uh-huh. Sema Bwana nisaidie. Bwana nisaidie. Kwa hiyo anasema ya kwamba sifurahi kwa vile ambavyo mimi mnaniletea na furaha vile nyinyi wenyewe mnajiwekea azina the altar that you sacrifice that is where your investment is ile mababa unatoleanga dhabihu zako hapo ndio nguvu zako ziko hapo ndio saving zako za kiroho ziko hapo ndio unaweza ukaenda ukaruhusiwa ku withdraw an altar is like a bank account wewe ukatoka hapa na kisirani yako hata ukaseme naenda wiki tu kutoa pesa na hujawahi weka pesa uh-huh. utapigwa uraruke Amen Amen Sasa madhabahu is a system of authorization kama kuna kitu liwekelea pale itakuruhusu kutumia hiyo njia uh-huh. There are people when they approach this altar the altar begins to smile at them Amen Pia ndio maambia wengi madhabahu madhabahu maambia utheka kama uh-huh. na ulamu ndo wito ni walk uelewa wa kila tu isa uh-huh. Kuna wengine tu wakifika hapa madhabahu inanuna. Aha. Maana wao ni kuja kujaribu pin, wanaweka pin mpaka inawaambia you have input a wrong password. Aha. Na ajui kama amekosea kila Sunday huwa ana guess. Kila Sunday ana guess. Uliza mtu tu una guess ama unajua password. Huwa ana guess ama unajua password. Ana sasa sio. Ile simu yako iko na pin namba. Ukiweka mara ya kwanza inakuambia incorrect pin ukiendelea ya tatu inakuambia locked sasa kuna watu wakikaribia kwa madhabahu maana it has not authorized them to transact ishaji block na bado wanajaribu 
Mi na kuombea katika jina la Yesu. Amen. Iki kipindi mtumishi wa Mungu ametuletea kuelewa madhabahu. Hizi wiki tatu ama ine ziko mbele yetu. Mungu akupatie understanding and functionality of orders. Amen. Haleluya. Amen. Kama kuna shortcut mtu anaweza fundishwa ya kupenya katika ufalme wa mbinguni ni madhabahu. Amen. Amen. Can I submit to you? Many of us are very prayerful. Wacha nikuambie hata wengine wenu mmekaa hapa mnawambanga more than the pastors wale wanahubiri hapa. Uh-huh. But nothing is happening. Hallelujah. Amen. Hata mulevi huwa anaomba. Hata mwizi huwa anaomba. Uh-huh. Hata mchawi huwa anaomba. Uh-huh. Lakini Mkristo ataomba na atabaki mtu wa kawaida kama aelewi madhaba. Uh-huh. Hebu endelee hapo mbele. Basi, ehe, uh-huh. imekwisha hapa kadi zote mlipionipa. Endelea. Tena, mm. zaidi kuliko nilivyohitaji. Yaani mmenipatia hata zaidi kuliko vile nilihitaji. Yaani unajua Mungu anatembeanga kulingana vile watu wamemuandaa. Aha. Amen. Amen. Hii madhaba Mungu anatembeanga kulingana vile tumemtambikia. Aha. Hallelujah. Amen. The power of God manifests at the platform of sacrifice. Aha. Nguvu ya Mungu huwa inadhihirika katika platform inaitangwa ya dhabiu sio sadaka. Aha. Haleluya. Amen. Endelea mpaka basi 19 nyusikie. Ina kila kitu kwa vile sasa. Aha. Eba Brito amekisha ndeta zawadi zenu. Ehe. Zawadi zini kama tamiko yenye harufu nzuri. Aha. Sandaka inayokubaliwa na kumpendeza Mungu. Ehe. Basi mm. Mungu wangu kwa utajiri wake. Ehe. Mkuu kwa jaya ya Kristo mm. atawapeni mahitaji yenyewe yote. Sikia mahali sasa amekuja kuongea kwa sababu ya hiyo sasa mmefanya. Because of your interactions with the altar, umetoa more than enough. Sasa namwaombea ombi moja, may God supply Amen. all your needs. Amen. According to his riches Aha. in glory. Amen. Sasa kabla hizo vitu zifanye kazi madhabahu kwanza. Amen. 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 Madhabahu nini? Kwanza. Sasa usikiambi yangu kusoma mstari moja na unasimama na angalia the context of the text. Amen. Ndio welewe hiyo baraka inaenda kwa nani? Aha. Hata kabla hujapiga watapigana na wewe na watakuweza angalia walianzia wapi? Aha. Haleluya. Amen. Kabla useme maadui zangu you come into my house in one way you scatter in seven ways anza 27 of Deuteronomy verse 1 aha kitambo fiki hiyo 7 utajua kuna vitu alifanya aha haleluya amen functionality of altars another thing about altars an altar is a legalizing legalizing zone for spirits to manifest in the physical realm it is the legalizing zone ni mahali roho huwa zinaruhusiwa zifanye kazi katika ulimwengu halisi aha it is where by spirits are satisfied are certified yani mahali zinapeangwa certificate usiwahi anza kusema ninaachilia na huna madhabahu hakuna kitu itatoka utakuwa una sweat bure oho amen amen hata kuna watu wanasemanga mtumishi wa Mungu ikumbuke kwa maombi Unafanya kumwambia it's okay. Amen. Amen. Tuisho Mungu ni niombe ninaumwa na hapa. Ile siku utaelewa kwanza kabla hujapeana hitaji, madhabahu ndio unatangulia, mambo yako yatakuwa mazuri sana. Amen. 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 Alafu tunapunguza hai kidogo. Thank you. Hebu twende kitabu kinaitwa First Kings chapter 8 verse 29 tuteremke pole pole kuna kitu nataka tuone pale kuhusu king solomon ukianza first kings chapter 3 ukianza verse 1 utaona mfalme sulaiman kabla atembelewe na mungu your encounter with the god's power is determined by the strength of your altar mungu anakutembeleanga kulingana na madhabahu yako uh-huh. na usiwe danganywa na mtu Ngai akao tembelea kulinga nondo mudhembe ya. Aha. Mwa Yesu hata yote. Amen. Mungu atakutembelea kulingana vile madhabahu yako unaitambikia. 
Kama you visit your altar once in a month, believe me, God will only visit you once in a month. Uh-huh. If you visit the altar once in a week, God will visit you once in a week. Uh-huh. If you visit the altar once in a day, then God will visit you daily. Hallelujah. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Na ndio maana mimi nakuhurumianga sana sometimes. Yaani kanisa hiko na ibada kutoka Monday to Sunday. Na wewe unakujanga Sunday peke yake. Na una nguvu ya kuamka usiku unasema ninawapomoa, inawateketeza, inawatawanya. Unatoanga wapi hiyo nguvu? Uh-huh. Amen. Amen. Geukia mtu muulize hiyo nguvu unatoanga wapi? Hiyo nguvu unatoanga. Oh, mwambie ni ya ugali. Hebu sikia, Mfalme Suleimani alipotambikia Mungu dhabiu. Maana nimekwambia madhabahu ni mahali pa kuingia kwa agano. Aha. Na kuendelea ku service agano. Aha. Na ni mahali pa ku activate agano. Aha. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Kuna kipindi wa kinafika unasikia watu wanaambiwa sasa ni masaa ya kutoa sadaka ya madhabahu. Hao watu wanakuja ku reactivate kama kuna mahali ilikuwa imeenda chini wana reactivate tena. Amen. 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 Kama kuna mahali alikuwa amepungua anaongezea. Ni kama mafuta ya gari, anaongezea ndio asikwame kwa njia. Kuna mtu yake ilikuwa mia January sasa anasukuma gari na iendi. Aha. Ninaomba katika jina la Yesu anaomba lakini haisongi maana mafuta ilikwisha na gari haijaumbwa ya kusukumwa. Imeumbwa ya kuwekwa mafuta alafu inaendeshwa. Amen. Madhabahu ni kama gari. Aha. If you don't fuel it it will remain in one place aha haleluya amen my prayer for you my brother and my sister ni kwamba mungu akupatie kuelewa ku service madhabahu yako yani hizi wiki ambazo ziko mbele ujinyime kile utajinyima ujitavutie madhabahu amen usitegemee madhabahu ya mama yako ama baba yako jinulie madhabahu wewe mwenyewe amen because you have your own destiny by yourself destiny you are going to manifest according to the strength of your order hallelujah somebody amen maniko nasema hivi verse 29 may your eyes be open towards this temple night and day this place of which you said my name shall be there so that you will hear the prayer of your servants Uh, the prayer your servants prays towards this place i'm reading from my niv number that hear the, the supplication of your servant and your people israel when they pray toward this place hear from your heaven your dwelling place and when you hear forgive verse number that one when anyone wrongs their neighbor and is required to take oath That is our covenant now. And they come to swear the oath before your altar in this temple. Then hear and act. Huyo ni mtu anayejua vile madhabahu inafanya kazi. Ameinua madhabahu na hicho ndicho mtumishi wa Mungu alifanya wakati alikuja hapa. Haleluya. Amen. Aliinua madhabahu na akaingia katika covenant na Mungu na wakaingia kwa mkataba fulani. Uh-huh. Akamwambia Mungu siku zote watu watakuja kuomba hapa. Na wanguze hii madhabao. Sikia maombi yao na utende jambo. Amen. Now the problem comes in unakuja tu kuomba na you don't have anything to activate that covenant. Aha. Uh-huh. Maana amesema watu wao wakikosana kule jirani akosana jirani. Ni Suleimani ameinua madhabao. Ameinua kitu inaitangwa generational order. Aha. Kwa niaba ya taifa ya Israeli kuna kitu unaweza fanya leo utetee generation ile iko nyuma yako. Amen. Maana kuna kitu walifanya na ikakuwa affect. Aha. You can also do something and affect those who will come after you. Aha. Don't say you are young. Don't say you don't have anything. You have war or what it takes. Amen. 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 Mungu anaangalia anasema msidharau mwanzo mdogo kwa hivyo anajua kuna watu mwanzo wao ni mdogo mm-hmm. na anajua kuna watu mwanzo wao si mdogo amen amen kwa hivyo ukisoma hiyo scripture alafu uende kitabu cha Daniel wakati Daniel ameshikwa 
na akaambiwa leo hii tutakurusha kwa simba wa kukule he knew the covenant of that altar ambao Sulaimani alikuwa ameinua miaka mingi sana iliyopita mm-hmm. the bible says alipoomba akiface hiyo madhabao hata si kwenda huko sasa kuitazama hivi unajua facing ni kuconnect ni kumaanisha kuna vitu zilitoka kwake zikanguza hiyo madhabao ndio covenant ya kwamba yule ataomba akiface hii madhabao Mungu musikie na utende kitendo aha hiyo ndio ilifanya Danieli akanusurika na simba kila mtu mahali umetoka unapigana na simba amen 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 actually the battle of life is between altar and altars amen the battle of life vita ya mwanadamu yeyote ni dhidi ya madhabahu mhm haleluya amen i say haleluya amen are you getting what i'm talking about yes zile vitu zote unataka zimefungwa kwa madhabahu fulani na zile vitu zote pia unataka zitafunguliwa na madhabahu amen haleluya Amen. Some say my father my God. My father my God. Help me to understand altars. Help me to understand altars. An altar is a place of reconciliation. Unasikia amesemaje? Watu ambao watakuja hapo wakiwa wamekosana. Ndio unasikia anga kuna vitu hapa tunafundishanga na lazima tushukuru mtumishi wa Mungu kwa sababu ya kutusaidia na ile revelation. Amen. Unasikia anga anakuambia alafu anakuambia hii ni identification. Mm. Amen. Amen. Hii ni ya nini? dedication If your life is destroyed you need dedication Amen If your life is afflicted you need something called altar affiliation Amen We call it altar affiliation kurudisha uhusiano na madhabao That's why you are being afflicted any time wasali walipoenda kinyume na Mungu walikuwa wanafinyiliwa na maadui zao wakirudia Mungu wanapiganiwa mm-hmm. If your life is tight You need to watch over your tithing. Hmm? Haleluya. Amen. Na kama kuna sadaka inadharauliwa siku hizi ni tithe. Mhm. Watu watu wa watu wangi tithe. Amen. Amen. Among 100 people wale wanakujanga hii church. Wale wana tithing faithfully. Mimi sina uoga kusema ni watatu. Haleluya. Amen. That's why every time you are pre- number one prayer request financial Breakfast. Yes. Money yani umekuwa tightened in financial realm because you don't tithe. Sema madaba. Madaba. Hallelujah. Amen. So, an altar is a place of reconciliation. If you are suffering financially, look at your offering. Maandiko yanasema mtu atavuna alichopanga alichopanga ingiza mkono kwa mfuko yako mahali umeweka pesa ukikuta kuna miambili, utapata unatoanga miambili. Mm-hmm. that is very true alafu mazeto bibi titukunze tu na ndiye sisi kimkunza hata bibi timuno yeye ana ndiko kunza wamo mekunza kwa kiasi maana ile maikunza wamo ngilindu hizo na ikunzo lakini unaona 50 kana finyango hivi na ndivyo unaona hata maisha imefinyikana hivyo tu mm. maana unaletea madhabahu unaiambia unaona hivyo nime squeeze eh ni squeeze tu hivyo utavuna ulicho so mm. if you are suffering in finances look at your offering hii madhabahu ita reconcile na wewe vile unai approach haleluya amen number six, an altar is a place of sanctification and cleansing Hizi vitu tunapata hii duniani mueleo ya kwamba hasijatoka mbinguni. Simetengenezwa na mandevo worshipper. Haleluya. Amen. Hizi mangumu ya baa zimetoka kwa wahindi, hawajaokoka wanaabudu miungu. Zingine zimetoka. Nitu ngapi uko nazo kwa nyumba yako zimeandikwa made in China? Ngapi? Ini kiliudi hiki hatu umevaa made in what? China. Kwa hivyo kama utashinda miungu ya hao lazima uelewe madhabahu. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Hata hizi tunahubiri nazo Mendin tena. Hata hiyo simu yako Mendin tena. Ndio unaona unatuma pesa inaenda kwa mtu rongo sababu haijulikani kwa madhabao inaenda kwa wenyewe tu kwa mashundo lolo wenzao. Uh-huh. So ukielewa madhabao is a place of sanctification and cleansing. 
vitu zako zote zitajulikana na madhabahu pesa nyingine unaona tunasomesha nayo ni watu wameuawa watu kapewa na una habari singine ni za umalaya una habari unaona hizo umebeba kutolea Mungu leo simepitia kwa mikono ya waganga na wachawi kile kitakusaidia hiyo tabaki nayo kusaidie ni ile utafikisha kwa madhabahu for cleansing amen madhabahu uwe inatakasa uh-huh. Ninakuombea siku ya leo. Amen. Unapoinua madhabahu kai hii hii hi, hi, madhabahu siku ya leo. Aha. Vitu zako zikapate kutakaswa. Amen. Sema my father my God. My father my God. By my sacrifice. By my sacrifice. Cleanse my blessings. Cleanse my blessings. Cleanse my land. Cleanse my, Cleanse my home. Cleanse my, Cleanse my finances. Cleanse my finances. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Kwa hivyo wewe ambaye hujui wangu wakati unasikia ni masaa kunguza madhabahu unguzange madhabahu hujui unakaa na takataka nyingi sana. Haleluya. Amen. Ukilipwa mshahara toa fungu la kumi, hiyo ni sawa. Zaidi ya fungu la kumi, toa ingine ya kutakasa balance. Amen. Maana huyo bosi yako amekulipa hiyo pesa alitoa kwa madhabahu yake ya mashetani. Aha. Kwa hivyo atakulipa na wewe ufanye kutaidi peke yake na uja cleanse the bla- the balance kwa hivyo atapiga itawanyike tu ndio unaona watu wengi wako na mshahara they can show nothing maana wanyojua kuna cleansing na kuna tithing aha uh-huh. pamoja jamaa yes number seven. an altar is a place of vowing and commitment by an oath ni mahali pa kuweka nadhiri Alafu unawajibikia nadhiri yako. Mm-hmm. Sasa imegeuka siku hizi. Nadhiri zinawekwa na mtu afuati e, nitatoa simiti mifuko tano. Anaonyesha pasta. Mm-hmm. Lakini ajui hapo unajua an altar another thing about altar. Functionality of an altar. This is a place of binding or loosing. So watu wengi wamejifunga kwa madhabahu. Anaambia Mungu ni bariki, anaumbia, a uh-uh ile nadhiri ya mifuko tano ya simiti hujawahi toa nitakupatia nyingine upeleke wapi mwizi wewe hebu ngeugia mtu muulize ni bahasha ngapi umeweka nyumbani ni bahasha ngapi umeweka nyumbani najua mpendangi hiyo story lakini tutapitia hapo leo amen unaona hizo bahasha umeweka hapo zingine zinakupanish tu maana ulivao wangapi watatoa bundles eh hey, chukua bahasha ukachukua na no, ukaenda ukaweka unafikiria ni muzaa madhabo ilinakili hiyo mm-hmm. now it is judging you according to your vow uh-huh. hallelujah Amen. another thing an altar is a place of judgment and justice uh-huh. anasema ya kwamba wale watakuja hapa wakiwa wamekosana na wakulilie na wakutambikie kwa hii madhabao sikia maombi yao na ufanye kitendo Amen. Kujia, some of us Mashetani ambayo inatufinyilia hata hata kama ya familia iko nyingine sisi ndio tumeenda kinyume na sheria za madhabahu we meant a vow and we did fulfill the vow Oho Samo say my father my god my father my god. help me to fulfill my vows help me to fulfill my vows in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus An altar is a place of summoning ni mahali Eh, pa kupeana, I don't know the right word for summoning in Kiswahili. Like it is a place whereby you can call a spirit. Unaweza ukaita roho alafu unaipatia masharti. To summon is to issue a command, an, an instruction. Wanaenda kwa yule mama medium, a medium. Naongea kuhusu Sauli. Na wakachukua ujira ya huyo mchawi. Walipofika akasema hii ndio tumekupatia utuitie roho ya yule mtu tutakutajia kabla huitwa kwa kioo ya mchawi kuna interactions za madhabahu zinafanyika huwezi itwa hivi hivi atakwambia hapana hii madhabahu itanangi hivi nguza kwanza ndio ikue charged itana okay. so an altar is a place of summoning ndio unasikianga deliverance ikifanyika hapa kujeni hapa nyine kina nani tuko watano wa kwanza so and so wa pili is a place of summoning na wakisha kuwa summon wanaambiwa muachilieni wanaenda anaamka anasema nasikia zimeenda uh-huh. after this teaching never joke with an altar amen usicheza na madhabahu amen 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 first samuel chapter 7 verse 7 to 
God bless you so much those who are tuning in. Please keep on sharing the broadcast. God is going to bless you in Jesus name. Amen. First Samuel chapter 7 verse 7 to 10. Wakilisto aliposikia kuwa wa Israeli. Aha. Wamekusanyika huko Zilpa. Aha. Wakuu watano wa Filisti wakaenda kuwashambulia. Wazali waliposikia juu ya jambo hilo, Aha. wali waongopa wa Filisti. Aha. Basi akamwambia Samueli, usiache kum, kumlilia Mwenyezi Mungu kwa ajili yetu. Yes. Endelea kumlilia atiwekwe kutoka kutoka kwa Filisti. Mm-hmm. Kwa hiyo Samueli alichukua mwana kondoo, mm-hmm. anayenyonya akamtolea Mwenyezi Mungu kama sandaka kuteketezwa nzima. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Wakati unasikia vita zimechacha kwako. Wachana na maombi nyingi. Mm. Guza madhabahu. Amen. Fanya nini? Guza madhabahu. Wakati unasikia malaria, sijui madeni, sijui ndoto mbaya, wachana na hii maombi ya aiskata, aiskata. Ma- kuna kazi unafanyanga si yako, oh. ni ya madhabahu. Amen. 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 Walipo wafalme hao watano walikuwa na attack one nation ambayo inaelewa madhabahu na ambao haichezi na kuani kuani alikuwa anakaa kwa madhabahu siku zake zote kwa hiyo wakati unasikia Samueli akaenda akachukua mwana kondoo akatambika kwa madhabahu ni ile walileta kama vile nimekusomea Philippians chapter 4 Paulo anasema mulileta ninashukuru kwa sababu nyinyi mko na hazina anytime you make a cry on the altar you have something to withdraw kwa hiyo waisraeli waliposikia kwamba kumedhuka wakajua only our only rescue ni madhabahu sio vita walipomwendea samueli wakamwambia usiache kutulilia kwa Mwenyezi Mungu uh-huh. akauliza ni nini kimetendeka wamejiinua wafalme watano kupigana sisi peke yetu uh-huh. akajua this battle is not now between men and men it is uh-huh. between altar and altars amen akachinja maandiko hapo kuteremka inasema kwamba alipochinja Mungu aliinuka na akanguruma. Maandui hao watano, mataifa matano ikachanganyikiwa na wakauana wenyewe kwa wenyewe. Amen. Ilikuwa ni vita lazima madhabahu inguzwe. Amen. Your victory and you are losing is on the altar. Mm-hmm. Kushinda kwako na kushindwa kwako ku katika madhabahu yako. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Haleluya. Amen. Na usijaribu kusema mimi sinyi wa kiwango ya kuinua madhabahu, utajidanganya mwenyewe. Utajidanganya mwenyewe. Kila mtu as long as you are breathing, you need an altar. Because your breathing is sustained by your altar. Your manifestation is determined by the altar you are standing on. Mm-hmm. First Kings hiyo tulikuwa 8 verse 62. An altar is a place of release or binding. Ndio hiyo nilikuwa nimesema mbeleni. Na Mungu akubariki sana Jacqueline Pius kwa sababu ya sadaka yake katika hii madhabahu. Hii madhabahu ianze ku react against another altar challenging you in Jesus name. Amen. Wale mko online unaweza ukanguza hii madhabahu anytime and any hour because the more you touch the altar, the more the altar reacts towards your life. Francis Mutinda God bless you because of your offering on the altar. Sii madhabahu ianze ku react kinyume na madhabahu zingine zinapambana na wewe katika jina la Yesu. Mm. Sikia First Kings 8 verse 62. Kisha mfalme Suleimani uh-huh. na Ezaeli wote walikuwa pamoja pamoja naye wakimtolea Mwenyezi Mungu tambiko. Uh-huh. Naye Suleimani alimtolea Mwenyezi Mungu tambiko za amani. Uh-huh. Ngombe elfu shini wa wili na kondoo elfu mia moja na ishirini uh-huh. Hivyo ndivyo mfalme na watu wote wa Ezaeli walivyoweka wafu nyumba ya Mwenyezi Mungu. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Anaongea kuhusu kuweka wakfu. Lakini sikia wait na kuweka wakfu. Hii ndio season nzuri ya kufanya dedication. Amen. 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 Maana dedication zingine tunafanyanga hapa. Ni ile inaitangwa kujienjoy. Mhm. Amen. Amen. Kutoa tu tuonekane tume respond to the message. Lakini the message haijaingia ndani yetu. Maana kuna sema akatoa maelfu ya wanyama wa kuchinjwa kwa madhabahu. Na sababu ile anafanya ni kwa sababu 
ya kuweka wakfu wanaweka wakfu nini madhabau ambao itaongea generations to generations ukisoma hapo tumeanza 29 of first kings 8 29 ukiteremka utaona zile vitu alikuwa anasema mtu yeyote atafika hapa amekosana na mwingine na waombe na waanguze madhabau Mungu wasikie mtu yeyote atakuwa ana mtoto na afike kwa hii madhabau na itolee dhabiu apate mtoto mtu yeyote atafika hapa na kwake kuna tauni there is a, 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 a epidemic kuna kit kuna generational issues na wafuata as long as they have engaged this altar let that lineage be broken amen kuna watu tumefundishwa asubuhi about blood altars na ukaangalia ukasema kwetu ziko now you need to engage this altar man there is a covenant on this altar amen ya kwamba mtu yote atafika hapa na amelemewa na vita Mungu akamusikia amen sema my father my god My father, my father. As I engage this altar. As I get this altar. Hear my prayer. Hear my prayer. And deliver me. And deliver me. An altar is a place of slaughter and sacrifices. When you understand sacrifices God supplies to your needs according to his riches in glory becomes the order Amen. of the day. Ukielewa madhabau kupitia dhabiu ama tambiko. Hiyo scripture nimekusomea Philippians 4:19. Madhabau itakuwa inasema may the God of all glory rich May the riches of God be supplied unto you. Yaani hiyo itakuwa automatic sababu umeelewa is about sacrifice. Ah watu hao wanatoa sadaka kwa Paulo kwa sababu alikuwa na vitu nyingi. Walikuwa wanajua tunaweka azina. Amen. 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 Unajua kuna mtu afta hii hata mimi acha nikwambie siku nyingine nilizoiliwa na mke wangu. Kuna plot tulibarikiwa nayo. Mm-hmm. Mimi nikaona si wakati wa kuwa na plot. Hii ni wakati ya nitoe sadaka mimi nijifungue. Kaniambia mm-hmm. kwanza tusikize Mungu tena. Amen. Amen. Yaani nilijua sasa nitakaa nayo ya nini na sina. Yaani nilikuwa nasikia hapa kuna kitu kinanizuilia hapa. Afadhali niitoe mimi nijijenge ni kimaisha kwa sababu niweke kitu kwa anga yangu. Hata kama sitakula baraka watoto wangu wapate kitu. Amen. Proverbs 13:22. A good man lives in inheritance to his children's children. Amen. Inheritance ile nzuri unaweza wachia watoto wako ni spirit ya hiyo kitu. Ukiwa ushazalisha. Amen. Amen. Yesu anauliza, kuna faida gani uwe na hii dunia yote na upoteze uhai wa milele? Maana mahali umeinvest, believe me or not, hapo ndio roho yako inadudanga. Amen. Amen. Kuna mtu za hii yako hapa. Hata chukua ile wallet yako nayo, hata shughulika na wewe, maana bengi kumejaa. Lakini asikie bengi hiyo ime collapse na imefungwa na hita huyo operate na hapo ndio kulikuwa na pesa yake utaona mtu ameingiwa na pressure. Mm-hmm. Amen. Amen. Pressure zingine watu wako nazo ni kwa sababu utajiri yao ilinguzwa. Mm-hmm. Na hiti utajiri yao ingekuwa kanisani. Wangekuwa na pressure. Lakini wakiingiwa na hiyo pressure wanakimbia hiyo kanisani hawajaweka. Ndio unaona inaombewa na itoki. Sema bwana nionee huruma. Bwana nionee huruma. Ninapomalizia components of an order Nini tutapata kwa madhabahu Number one. A priest Hakuna madhabahu sio na mwenyewe Kila madhabahu iko na kuani wake Iwe ni nzuri remember I'm talking about orders in general Siseme nzuri ama mbaya Lakini na, na kuvuta sana uone hii nzuri maana hiyo ndio yako Amen. 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 Lazima kuwe na kuani. Every order it has a voice. Kila madhabahu iko na sauti. Ndio unasikia hapa wanasema hakuna mtu wa kwao ataolewa. Si hata sisa zake wameoa, wameolewa, wamezaa na wakarudi. Sasa ye ataolewa kama nani? Hiyo ndio sauti ya madhabahu. Mm-hmm. Amen. Amen. Uliza mtu sauti ya madhabahu ya kwenu inasemaje? Sauti ya madhabahu ya kwenu inasemaje? Amen. 
Ndiyo sauti ya, ya madhabahu ya Yesu Kristo inasema mambo mema. Amen. Kuliko sauti ya madhabahu ya damu ya Abin. Sasa wengine si ya Abin, wengine ni ngombe. Siulisikia njuzi, tulichinja ngombe. Alafu tulipochinjia madhabahu yetu, tukatoa sauti ya kwamba wasichana wasiwahi kuolewa. Sasa unless na sisi tupinduke pande hii ingine, tuanze mwanzo mdogo kuchinjia Mungu ngombe. Tutaishi kulingana na sauti yao. Sema mimi leo. Mimi leo. Navunja kanuni. Navunja kanuni. Za madhabahu ya kwetu. Za madhabahu ya kwetu. Sema amina. Amina. Namba 3. Kama madhabahu itakuwa active, there must be sacrifice. Lazima ichinjiwe. Lazima ifanywe nini? Ichinjiwe. Mimi ana yani nashukuru Mungu sana mtumishi wa Mungu katika madhabahu. Maana anajiwanga shida yetu na anajua solution ya hiyo shida alafu anatufundisha tuchukue ama tuache mhm amen amen yani baiki ndo kisio takiu okay wa ugono na wao kuno sakuwa kilo kwenda kuna mtu atachagua tu kukaa hiyo hiyo maisha kuna mwingine anasema hapana hii sitaki mimi naenda pande ile mm-hmm. na mimi niko pande ya wale ambao wanasema sitaki kukaa kulingana na watu wa kwetu uh-huh. nitakaa kulingana na vile Yesu amesema aha inua mkono sema nitakaa kulingana na vile Yesu amesema nitakaa kulingana na vile Yesu amesema amen amen haleluya amen yani no ndia tu tuna hiyo pube mwewe na yasa nengo kitha niwe amen amen itakuwa ni makosa sana turudie makosa ya walio tutangulia Mm-hmm. Na ili hali tunajua ukweli. Unaona wasichana wa shule wako hapa boys wa shule you can start somewhere my sister. Amen. 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 Walichinja ngombe, wewe hauna ngombe saa hii. Lakini kuna kitu unaweza fanya fanya. Unaona? Yeah. Unasema as I do this I'm challenging the orders Amen. of my family. Amen. They must list me in the name of Jesus. Amen. So there must be a sacrifice. Number four. There must be a covenant. Why am I doing this? Kwa nini tunainua hii madhabahu? Yaani lazima kuwe na sababu. Kwa nini? Kwa nini? Na ukianza kutumikia Mungu na covenant, ndio unapatanga unasonga kwa urais. Amen. Unajua kuna nilikuuliza siku nyingine, wewe ukakutana ukiwa kwa duka yako unauza vitu zako. Alafu mtu akuja hapo awekelee moja hapo na anyamaza. Swali so, ya kwanza kumuuliza utamuuliza aje? Kichwa yako ni mzuri, si ndio? Mm. Amen. Amen. Man ya moja ni ya nini? Sasa most of us katika hii madhabahu tunafanyanga hivyo. Una package vizuri lakini hauna sababu ya kutoa. Mhm. Kwa hivyo Mungu anakuuliza na kuangalia, malaika anatuma na mwambie, hebu muulize kama kuna kichwa mzuri. Na wewe kwa sababu usiki yangi malaika, wajuangi kama kuna swali uliulizwa, unataka naenda nyumbani. Amen. Amen. Yesu alikuwa anafundisha about kingdom of God. Nasema you have prayed amiss. Mmeomba visivyo ndio maana hampati. Kamuliza how now? Si tumetoa tuonekane tumetoa kaza hapo ndio mlikosea. Don't do for them to see you. Do it for the sake of the kingdom. Amen. Mimi ninamtolea Mungu hapa nizalike kwa ufalme wake such that hata wakakuja kunitafuta aweze nipata kwa sababu ile ufalme niko ndani yake awaruhusiwi kuniona. Mm-hmm. Shetani akaenda akaambia Mungu, mtumishi wako Ayub umemtetea sana. Mm-hmm. Do you know what was around Job? Alisema umewekea huwa wa nini? Ha? Huh? Yes. Our God is a God of consuming fire. Lakini ndio hiyo moto itoke kwa madhabahu iende na sisi inategemea our interactions and engagements with the order. Amen. Namba ya tano. Lazima kuwe na worship. Madhabahu itateremsha roho kama kuna ibada. Ibada ni wakati roho ameshuka kwa madhabahu na kaanza kuhudumia watu. Hiyo ndiyo inaitangwa ibada. Haleluya. Amen. Mwana nasema ya kwamba Musa akaenda mlimani kuomba, akawacha wana wa Israeli na Haruni. Wakamwambia Musa amekaa sana. Hebu tutengeneze madhabahu maana hii ya Musa si atujuani na tutengeneze yetu tunaona hapa. Alafu tukimaliza kutengeneza tufanye worship. Wakatoa earrings za gold, 
wakachoma wakatengeneza kangombe amen amen earrings ni za urembo mikufu ya huku wakatoa zile za huku wakatoa amen amen nani wanawake walitoa hakuna wanaume amen amen ngoja waabudu roho ya hiyo mwanamke ikashuka wote wakaanza kulalana amen amen madhamao itateremsha ile roho imejengwa nayo Mm-hmm. Tukimtolea Mungu pesa kwa hii madhabahu. Wacha nikwambie roho ya pesa itaingia hata watoto wengine hawajazaliwa. Amen. Wewe hujaelewa wewe. Ukitaka kuona Mungu wa pesa mpatie pesa. Amen. Utaka kuona Mungu wa magari mpatie gari. Amen. Utaka kuona Mungu wa vitu nzuri mpatie vitu nzuri. Amen. Apandacho mtu licha tafu. Kila mtu wako hapa ako na ugonjwa au kukosa pesa. Ukweli ama uongo? Ukweli. Mimi sisi mbona umekasirika? kama ni point imeingia imeingia <laughs> kila mtu hapa ako na ugonjwa mmoja tu ya pesa ndio unaona sura zinakaa mawe mawe mm-hmm. maana hutaki mambo ya pesa yako kuingililiwa na leo ndio nimekuja kuingililia lakini tutakuingililia mpaka ufunguliwe katika jina la Yesu amen sema roho ya kutotoa roho ya kutotoa utaniwaachilia utaniwaachilia upende usipende upende usipende hata wewe Yesu amen Hakuna mimi kitu napenda kama kutoa. Yaani eka ngotaje nena amanie piu. Yaani ile ndai imoni kubwa the university ya shetani inaitangwa university ya kutokutoa. Mm-hmm. If you want to see a graduate ambaye ame graduate vizuri kwa shetani, angalia utaona maskini. Mm-hmm. Dio maana unaona matajiri wataendelea kutajirika. Maskini wataendelea kuwa maskini. Maana tajiri kutoa si shida, maskini kutoa ngumu. Lazima umwimbie nyimbo zote toa ndugu dada ulicho nacho sauti ya pili yani mnamwimbia wimbo lakini bado angalia wakati wa kusifu utaona kila mtu anaruka hata watatoa viatu a put on dancing shoes sema ni wakati wa kujiachilia kwa Mungu tutaanguka mpaka na tumbo haya ni masaa ya kutoa reactions zinapungua Shetani anajua hapo hawezi kubali akuachilie rais hivyo. Si leo useme hapo anatakanga nikae nimekataa. Amen. Haleluya. Amen. Masaya kutoa ikifika unasema haleluya my time has come. Amen. Giving time is racing time. Aha. I say giving time is harvesting time. Amen. Kama unakazikanga wakati wa kutoa ujue we ni mama ya shetani. Aha. Haleluya. Yaani wakati wa kutoa ndiyo mazaa ya graduation yako ya kuenda juu huwa inafika. Amen. Ni urabidi chao keka ni ngombe. Ila naite ne uye tukwete kwaka na ndi na kwa mabiala mai kwa kwa. Kasi miti na zia tuambe kwaka kwa ngai. Yaani maiki ni niwe aki moyoni atakumia nyi. Amen. Utaambiwa na wale watu nakaanga na wao hapa. Zinaingia ngai ninawaambia haya mtu amenitumia 1000 kunywa ni soda. Yani uh-huh. na I am happy when I'm giving Amen. because I know when I give I'm broadening my channels of receiving. Amen. Give us our receivers. Uh-huh. You will never receive anything if you don't give anything. Uh-huh. Give us our receive. Only a giver is allowed to receive. Amen. Madhabo hii itakupatia kama unaipatia. Amen. Ukubali ama ukatai. Guza mtu mwambie ukweli mchungu. Ukweli mchungu. Ukitoa ukitoa madhabo itakutolea madhabo itakutolea mimi sangi niendelee zaidi hapo nilikuwa nakuandaa kidogo tu kwa sababu mtumishi wa Mungu ako karibu kusimama hapa na inajiwa kuna instruction tutapewa lakini kabla tufike hapo situnguze madhabao yes amen amen this is a legalizing zone kile unataka kiko hapa itategemea password yako umeweka gani amen if you bless demand above your giving you will never be you will, you cannot receive according to the demand it will come only by the uh, measure of your giving wewe sipatiana 1000 na unaitisha vitu za 1500 mm-hmm. utaambiwa pesa hebu kwanza tufanye mahesabu utasikia akwambia utapunguza kilo mbili upunguze mpaka sitoshie ile yako mm-hmm. na tutoshiani kila mtu aende na kiwango ya yake yeah. lakini nao usikuwe ndwafu keep on growing amen amen, amen. kuna watu wamekoa madhabao ya limitation even in giving ati akitoka nyumbani anasema anasema haka ka 50 nika first service haka kingine nika second service haka kingine nika third service alafu hii mbili ni ya ngumu kuna mtu amefanya hivi hapa unaona hivyo mnacheka 
leo hiyo ya ngumu ndiyo utapea Mungu. Amen. Ndiyo maisha yaache kuwa ngumu. Amen. Simama na ushike sadaka ya madhabahu. Madhabahu inatakasa. Madhabahu inatetea. Madhabahu ina inainua. Tuelewe madhabahu apendo tutaenda mbali. Umeshika sadaka yako? Wale tuko online namba ya simu ndio hiyo tuma sadaka yako pale. E, madhabahu hii nayo itakunguza mahali ulipo. Mema ya Bwana itakwenda kukutosha. Sema Bwana Yesu. Bwana Yesu. Hii ni sadaka yangu ya madhabahu. Hii ni sadaka yangu ya madhabahu. Ninapoiwekelea kwa hii madhabahu. Ninapoiwekelea kwa hii madhabahu. Ninajua iko na agano. Ninajua iko na agano. Ya maendeleo. Ya maendeleo. Ya kufanikiwa. Ya uponyaji. Ya maisha marefu. Ya maisha marefu. Na ufanisi. Ninapowekelea hii sadaka kwa hii madhabahu. Agano ya hii madhabahu ikawe agano kwa maisha yangu katika jina la Yesu pokea sadaka yangu ya madhabahu na ukapata kunibariki mimi na nyumba yangu kwa jina la Yesu nimeomba na kuamini amen haya nguzisha sadaka yako hapo inawezekana yanguze madhabahu hayo na uconnect na covenant iliyo katika hii madhabahu na Mungu akubariki sana Mungu akubariki sana eh, Rosemary Moke tumepata your covenant offering na Mungu wa hii madhabahu naye akuhudumie sawa sawa na vile unatarajia katika maisha yako. God bless you so much. Mnapoendelea kutuma na waombea in Jesus name. Let's appreciate our viewers all over the world and they sign out. God bless you so much in Jesus name.